Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Firefox, the Pokemon TCG Trinidad YouTuber. Lol. Um, and we're speaking about Scarlet and Violet's sixth set, the Twilight Masquerade. Now, this was announced before even the release of the fifth set that we had, Temporal Forces. However, they've released it and they've given us a potential release date, which is May the 24th, which is kind of set in stone since this set is going to be or has been released in Japan already. So we're kind of going to see that transition over to an English set. However, today we're going to be discussing the card list or the set list for Pokemon TCG Scarlet and Violet Twilight Masquerade. Now I'm going to do these things. I'm going to do them in parts. So I'm going to do like grass, then fire, then electric, then water, etc. Uh, just so that the video doesn't end up too long. So be sure to stay tuned for all the parts. I'll have them like linked in the cards above, up on the, up on the top there, or wherever the top is, um, as well as at the end of the video and in the description. So you guys can stay tuned for that. Kind of go through all the cards, see what they are. And if I can use some of my limited knowledge of Pokemon TCG, because I am very new into it, to kind of explain what it is we're going to be seeing and the uses of the cards then i will try to do so but let's just take a look at some of the products that will be coming out we have obviously the 36 pack booster box we have single packs that will be selling um one with ogapon on it then we have the bear and this new i can't remember his name but for synesty we also have another single pack we have the atbs obviously which will have in it its regular um products of course we have uh the pamphlet we have the brick of energy we have some sleeves we have some dividers they've hidden the promo card obviously because it will be a spoiler but i'm sure it will be something along the lines of ogapon maybe maybe not and then we have our nine packs of course our dice and everything like that um and then there is the three pack blister that will be featuring the river room and snorlax one or the other and then you have those single packs where you get a coin as well featuring Lechunk and you have either Toxel or Pupita. We have also the Build and Battle box that we usually see at pre-releases with assortment of cards. So you can probably pick up one of these and kind of just jump in to play one time. Um, and if there are pre-release events, you can probably visit those pre-release events and get to have a feel of how this deck is played. We have the six pack bundle as well, as well as a binder that will be coming out with this set, which looks really cool. The outside of this binder looks really cool. Of course, the energy is going down the spine. Um, we have one with Ogapon on it, as well as uh, on the back, I think that's Trackapult, and he is Terrod, so that's cool. And then we have the other one. Um, we also have some more of these single pack blisters i can't remember what they call them but they have an evolutionary line in it as well kind of help you complete some of those binders that you guys will want to be completing and then obviously we have the main 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 guy for the set ogre pond we have the grass type we have the fire type the water type the i can't remember i think this is fighting type and then we have the ogre's mask as well as the teal mask ogre pond like the basic form of it so Kind of interested in seeing how this set out, out, unfolds. We have 167 cards before Secret Rares, which is a little larger than what we had for like 151 and a couple others in the set, but definitely smaller than the recent one, I think, which was 192, if I'm not mistaken. Could have been less, I may be mistaken. Um, we have six A Spec Trainer cards, Special Energy cards, seven Pokemon EX. This includes Blood Moon or Saluna. Cream Tail, Iron Zone, Sinister, and three other unrevealed cards. We have seven Terra EX Pokemon. This Pokemon, this includes Maracago Fire, Greninja Fighting, Dragapult, Dragon, and four Ogopon EXs. And you have 21 Illustration Rare Pokemon, 11 Special Illustration Rare and Supporter cards, six Hyper Rare Gold Etched cards, and more than 30 Trainer cards of in the set. This is so, the third video in the set. If you haven't seen the rest, you probably should check them out. We're going to be doing the Water Pokemon from Twilight Masquerade, the set that's coming out May 24th in Pokemon TCG. Starting off, we have Core Fish for the Water Pokemon with Vice Grip, 60 damage. We have Crawdunt, his evolution, Snip Snip, and Rampaging Hammer, 40 damage. Flip two coins of each head for each head, discard energy, discard a card, sorry, from your opponent's deck. Oh, 
nice get rid of some of those Pokemon, some of those cards. During our next turn, this Pokemon can't attack if you do Rampaging Hammer for 180 damage. Kind of hefty. Um, we have Feebas, the Ugly Fish, with 10 times damage. This attack does 10 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon, which is not great because he only has 30 health, which means it can only do up to 20 more damage, which is not great. But, I mean, for a basic Pokemon, how much how much hits is gonna survive though? Like how much hits is FIBA really going to survive? This 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 card seems unnecessary. This card seems pointless, if I dare say. We have Milotic. Let's see if this card becomes um useful now. Ability Serenity, your Pokemon your opponent's Pokemon in play, and any cards attached to those Pokemon can't be put into your opponent's hand. And then Hydra's Blast for 100 damage. Not actually still still useless. Both of them. These two cards are useless. I'm not. We're not going to see Feebas and Milotic played at all. Unless somebody is trolling and trying to prove me wrong or prove the community wrong. These two cards are not going to be played. These two cards are just a pull to put into a deck because you need them in a deck. But these two cards are not going to be played. I I, I I assure you. We have Glaceon, who's an which is an ice Pokemon. But, you know, we don't have ice type in this game in Pokemon TCG. So, we stuck with, you know, water. I mean, they kind of use the terror types to explain some of these cards but they're just still doing the same old thing and we also don't know if the back of these cards are updated i don't think they are updated when i mean when i say updated i mean pokemon tcg pocket has just changed the back of their cards so that the pokeball opens the correct way Oh, that's a whole story by itself. We have Glacium with Deep Chill and Icicle Missile. 30 damage at the end of your opponent's next turn. Put 9 damage counters on the defending Pokemon. But I guess this Pokemon has to remain alive for that to happen. So this is a kind of a, a quick early turn play Pokemon. He could he could do some he could he could make some differences in in, in play, but he has to be played very strategically. We have Fioni. Put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand with Beckon and an energy press. This attack does 20 damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So this could be used This could be used in a lot of cases as well. Especially with it what being one energy to use either of these abilities. We have Froki, one of the cards I will be pulling for hopefully if I am going to be pulling on this set. And the reason is because he's a Yuki Mori card. I'm trying to create a set for Yuki Mori. Um... Because I just love the art styles of the Yukimori cards. But he has Flock. Search your deck for up to two Froki. And put them into your bench. Then shuffle your deck. And then we have Flop. Which is 10 damage. Now there must be a reason why Flock is here, right? Why do we want two Froki on our bench? Let's see. We have Froggy there. Numbing water. 20 damage. Flip a coin if heads your opponents. After Pokemon is now paralyzed. Probably not for that. Maybe there's a... I think, I think I did see a Terra Greninja in this set. So maybe we'll see him lower down. And that will explain why we want so many Frokies on our deck. In our hand and in our deck here. Cramorant, Water Gun, 20 damage. And Spit Shot, discard all energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 120 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Nice. That's a good card. Walking Wake makes a return to this set as well with Aurora Gain and Ripping Swell. I don't have to read those for you. You guys can actually see it on the screen as well. We have Wellspring Mast Ogre Pond EX Sub 20 damage. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. And then we have Torrential Pump with 100 damage. This You may shuffle 3 energy attached to this Pokemon into your deck. If you do, this attack also does 120 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So, you can do 100 damage to the active Pokemon and 120 to a benched one. And that is actually Loki... A really good mechanic. Now I don't see the Terra Greninja. Maybe I'll see him later down when we get to the other sections where they are. Hopefully. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a great day. Stay tuned for the next one when we move on to Electric, I believe it is. Yep. And if you haven't seen the others so far where we did Fire and Grass, please check them out. They will be in the cards above as well as at the end of the video and linked in the description. This is your boy Firefox, your Pokemon TCG Trinidad YouTuber. Until next time, peace out.